Hey guys, I'm going to show you what I picked up from the store. Uh, mainly opening. Opening boxes has been a lot of fun. I will give you a tour of the store and all the boxes that we opened. So I wanted to do an experiment with Walmart to see if Walmart actually, I guess, box maps its cards. And it turns out that it's not Walmart. It's one of two people who can be sending the packs from Walmart in Walmart's name. But out of these six packs, I got a Chalice of the Void worth about 40 bucks TCG mids and a Coalition Relic close to 20 bucks TCG mids, which is very, very good out of six packs. Now I'm going to show you what I picked up in terms of my store. We are doing lots and lots of Pokemon and we are moving Pokemon like crazy, mainly because it's little kids. We had a mom. So the way my store operates is on Fridays, we become a game store. Every other day, we're just a marketing agency, including Saturdays and Sundays. We're not a WPN, we're not any of that stuff, but we are open and people realize that we're open on Fridays. And if you ask who's there, it's the same team. And some people work on the e-commerce side, some people work on this side. But it's uh, we had a mom come in and she was telling me her 11-year-old son was really awkward and he really wanted to get into Pokemon. And so we helped them, we helped them learn Pokemon. We might do Pokemon League. It's actually really easy to get Pokemon League, like super easy. There's not as many play spaces. You don't need to send them pictures. You just apply and they accept you. So we will become a Pokemon League. Now the promos are trash, right? The pro promos are worth like 15 cents, but you do get, uh... and we are carrying lots and lots of Pokemon as you can imagine. So I will show you magic. So if you're into magic, don't worry. We do have a magic section in one of these books. This is kind of how I'm organizing because it makes it easier for me to remember like what we sold. Dragon Talon's brand new. Very spicy card. We have some floral lands, some ends. Uh, here are GXs that we have extras of. Zorak, I pulled this one. I might not want to sell that one, but here's another one from the starter kit. Here's some uh, Japanese. Here's a Gyarados GX, uh, some Breaks, another Zurich, which is going really well. He's selling really well, and just some random cards. We are also carrying other card games, not just Magic. Magic is not... Um, Magic, honestly, is not doing very well. We sold all of our reserve list cards before like the majority of them spiked, which is really, really bad, but what can you do? Um, I will show you, the, we are carrying Weiss. Now Weiss is doing well, and these are high, like for instance, the card here is a $200 card. And the reason that Weiss is doing well is because there is an, an humble, we have about 15 anime stores. We have like 10 in their brick mall, and then we have like five outside. And anime is hugely popular where I live in my location, so a card game based on around anime is very, very, it does well. Uh, Force of Will, so this is the product Rudy is pushing very heavily. Uh, we don't carry that because it's hard to compete against Dave and Adams, Amazon. The boxes for Force of Will are like, 20, 25, $35 a box. I don't want to compete with that. But Pokemon margins are good and they don't require you to have play space. They don't ask you to do anything. You don't have to sign people up. Uh, they just give you the promos and off you go. Now these are the full arts, so they tend to be a little bit more expensive depending on what they are. And they'll all, oh, and then we'll get to the magic section a little later of what I am stocking and what I'm selling. So uh, this is the magic section. I know a lot of you have been waiting for the magic section to see what we are stocking. I only stock cards $50 or more. I do not buy list cards. Like the card retail has to be $50 or more. That means a buy list is at least 25, if not much higher. I am stocking lots of expeditions, mainly because I very, I'm okay holding. So I'm stocking cards that I would be okay holding on to for a very long time, and that would be Expedition, so we are stocking them. 
And that is it. Um, you might not notice, but a lot of these cards, that the Pokemon cards, are quite expensive. A lot of these Weiss cards are quite expensive. And the reason that we're not stocking that much Magic cards, it's hard to get reserve list cards, and they are the only thing that can sell for a profit at my store. Uh, Standard is not selling well. Modern Masters, I invested a lot in Modern Masters and it's just kind of meant to me. Uh, Iconic Masters did not do well. Pokemon selling like hotcakes. Magic is kind of meh. I'm hoping Guild of Ravnica will be a ton better, but who knows. But anyway, this is my collection. It's probably worth uh, quite a pretty penny if you uh, calculate it all. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hi guys.